Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at some pretty big improvements to the Unified Design Center, which I really like myself, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna look at is Unified Design Center, which could be found at design.ui.com. And right on the front page, it says, build your own Unified system in minutes, and this is their wizard, which has been around for a little while. The one new thing that is on this page is try demo project. And I'm currently not signed in and we could do a create new project as well. So you don't need a Ubiquity account to be able to try this. Let's click on try demo project. This demo project will just create us a project and then we could add access points, we could add cameras, we could test out the walls if we like to draw in some more, we could delete walls and just see how Unified Design Center works. If you're creating your new project not signed in and you add a floor plan, and you want to save this, it says right at the top, unsave project, create a free UI account to save your work and access it from any device. And we have the link to create an account or we could sign in. Another new improvement is we could replace our walls. So if we click on the draw walls and we say this is wood right now, but say we want it to be concrete, all we need to do is click on it and then drag down and that will replace it with concrete. So if I go ahead and I click on this wall and I delete it, there's going to be nothing there. So it changes the material type and it actually deletes it. So what we did, we deleted it from wood to going over to concrete. I've added some devices onto the map. So we have Wi-Fi access points, we have cameras, and we also have ethernet data points. And we have this tool list mini rack. So if I click on the settings, we're gonna see what I have in there. Dream Machine Pro Max and the Pro Max 48 PoE. But the one very nice thing that they finally added, if we click on place devices and go down to accessories, we could now add an RJ45 single port. They used to only have it in two, four, eight, and I believe 16. So this is really nice to be able to do single ports. That's what we do a lot of because the clients don't wanna have the redundancy of having two cables because of the cost. But you could see here, we have the one port and then we could choose Cat5e, we choose Cat6, 6a, 7, and 8. And they also have the double sockets. It does look like they took out four, eight, and 16 ports. With these devices all on the floor plan, we're gonna go down to the middle and we're gonna draw cables. We're just gonna do the connection optimizers. Auto connect your devices, optimize device connections based on speed, power, and available ports. And we're gonna press okay. And then we're gonna check it on. So now that is drawing in all the cables for us. We would probably want to do a cable route of how we're going to route all the cables in a real world design. With all of the cables connected, we could see these green icons under all of the devices and the RJ45 socks. And this is what's going to tell us what port these devices should be plugged into. So if we go to the U7 Pro XGS and we click on it, it's telling us to be on the Pro Max 48 PoE on port 42. That's because it's a 2.5 gigabit ethernet interface with PoE++. We could click the drop down and we could switch which port it's on. And we could also say if we wanted that to be on the UDM Pro Max, which doesn't have PoE, so that wouldn't make sense. If we go over to our port list, you'll also be able to see all of the devices connected into the switch and clicking on the devices, you could also switch which port they're in right from here. If you're not going to physically install this and you're just the consultant on the job, this will make it very easy for the installers. Another nice thing that I think was just added, it may have been here for a little while, if we click on any device or RJ45 socket, we could hit this pencil icon and we could rename it. So we want this to be datajack01, we could do that by going D01 and save this. So handing out a floor plan and knowing where everything goes is going to make things super easy. Another improvement is the sensors connect to the Superlink gateway. So I have a Superlink gateway in the bottom left hand corner. We'll click on place devices, then we'll go to camera security, and then we'll go on special. Scrolling down, we're going to look for one of the motion sensors. I'll put it in the right hand corner and you could see that it connects. We'll put another one in the left hand corner. We could grab a glass break and we could also place that and you're gonna see the connections just going. Now, if we hover over the dotted line, it's gonna tell you how many feet it's away. So it says 99.3 feet. If we go to the next one, it's 79.4. So that is a nice new feature that they've added. They've also added some new devices to Unified Design Center. So we have the UXG Fiber, UXG Max, UCGK G2 SSD, G6 Pro Turret, G6 Pro Dome, AI PTZ Precision. We have the UVC Doorbell. We have the Retrofit Reader. Retrofit Hub 2, UPS Tower, and the UPS 2U. 
One other improvement that I didn't try out is the floor plan improvement. So replace floor plan image, you could now swap out a floor plan without needing to redraw the walls or replace the devices. And that's gonna be it for this video on the Unified Design Center improvements. And I really do like the improvements that they've added. We could now just try Unified Design Center out without having a Ubiquity account. I love how they added that single RJ45 and how the Superlink just connects directly to their sensors. Let me know what you think about these improvements in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.